Alright, so I didn't think I'd be doing this again so soon, that's mine, don't worry about that. But this guy over here, he has what I fucking want. And that thing I want is Raider Leathers. If he accepts it, I should be able to go to his world, like, immediately, and then, uh, you know. There we are. I just told him that, yeah, th this is my uh, account, and I sent him a request so I could find him quicker. Actually, is it this character? Am I still on Crowley? I think I might be on Crowley. Oh boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> Uh, should be editing, not recording. <laughs> That's mine again, don't worry about that. He just sent one saying accepted. On Discord, of course. Way later. But yeah. Yeah, it is Crowley. I used up all those, uh, you know what. The uh, legendary modules. And I didn't get anything good. Anyway. Fuck, I buggered it up again. <laughs> It's so hard to remember what the fuck you need to do, because you're so used to just going to play game, play game. You don't think to go to social and then join somebody else's world or whatever. But yeah, I didn't know that Raider Leathers were in the game, even, as anything other than NPC fodder. You know, NPC clothing you can't get because fuck you, that's why. So him having them, and shielded ones as well, is very interesting. 270 instead of one. What? Okay, 255. There we go. Why am I in third person anyway? Right, put you down there and drink a fucking burby. Now then, let's either find him or fast travel to him. Oh, it's a it's a scary move. Oh no. Ah, oh, I'm going to be attacked by a scary man over there. I still got to rename this again. <laughs> We're back in the Imperial City uh, subterranean again. At the start of the game. Oh, what the fuck? I fell, but... Oh. Hey there, so this, uh, these raid hey. leathers, they better not be, uh, a fluke. A fluke? What do you mean? Well, I've never I seen think... raid leathers before in this game, honestly. Oh. Okay. Aside from uh, on NPCs. Uh, well, there's, there's different ones, so, uh, come on upstairs and I'll just make you a set and drop them for you. What a thrill, with darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill, I'm searching and I'll melt into you. I'll be needing two, honestly, because uh, i got another character who's very low level, but I want them on that guy as well. Okay. Why am I even um, doing the character voice? <laughs> but yeah, I do need another one for the other character. That I'm planning so on giving it to. What, describe the ones you're looking for. They've got one that's called a harness. It's not that one, is it? No, no. It's uh, Raider Leathers. It's. Okay. I've got it's, that one. Yeah, it's got the. It's got a big gap in, like, the shirt, but it's got the arms covered all the way up to the armpits. It's strange, but it's really cool looking. Alright, so I'll make you the Raider Leathers and the Road Leathers. It's two different. I already have the Road Leathers, it's just the Raider Leathers I'm after. Honestly. For both. So it was 975 each. That makes it... No, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna drop them for you. You can have them. Wow, that's quite kind of you. Let's see if they are. They are as well. 
That's the ones you're looking for? Those are the ones. Excellent. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, it took forever to get the shielded plan for those. I got the, uh, the plan to make the leathers a long time ago, and then uh, not too long ago, I got the shielded plan to drop. I managed to get the uh, casual plan just from a random person. They gifted yep. it to me, and it took forever just to get the, you know, casual stuff. Like, the flux just to make it. Right. Um, well, I deal in mostly uh, plans and a little bit of apparel. I'll make these Under Armors, and I just stick them in the vendors for nine seventy five, and I sell a lot of those. Uh, but it's mostly plans. Oh, we'll have to look into those then. Well, there's a vendor right there sitting on top of it. That there is. That's the one I use to fill my vendors up. I've got three down there for customers coming in. I and see. I usually use that one to fill things back up. Hmm. Confederate uniform. <laughs> the fact that the Confederate stuff here is a lot lower price than everything else is a bit telling. Um, well, the, you're talking about the plans? Not the plans, just the Confederate hat and uniform that's in there already. Oh, well, I just stuck that in there because I sell the plans. Mm. The plans is, is mainly what I sell. I just made a set of them and stuck them in there for anybody that wanted to buy them. Because um, you can find the plans for the Confederate hat, uniform, Union hat, uniform, uh, Civil War era suit, top hat, and a dress. And those... Uh, those are from like a uh, random, random encounter, encounter, right? Yeah. Right. And I know places to farm those. So Ooh. I, I farm those plans and I sell them for 5000 and I've got a lot of people that will come in and pile them up and then send them back. I was just going to ask if you had any games, but you don't. Any holotape games, I mean. Oh, well. Uh, I normally, um, all the extra magazines and stuff that I get, I just stick them in the vendor for 75 caps a piece. Don't matter what it is. And I, they sell. I put bobbleheads in there for 75. The ones I don't use. Mm. I sell the uh, turbo fart grenades sometimes. I'll have a bunch of them built up and I'll just stick them in there for like I put 30 caps on those maybe. Mm. Get you a turbo fart if you want. There should be. It's not locked. I'll yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna check if it was locked, and if it was locked, that'd be like yeah. a ooh, that's like a very naughty thing to do, I'd say. No, very mean thing, but yeah. It. I've and already got water, one, but yeah. Upstairs if you need water. Yeah, right I'm upstairs. fine on water, I'd say. Boiled water's the real problem, though, because I make a lot of alcohol for this guy. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know how to get all the recipes out of this. Yeah, Biv, and he usually gives me tipsy taste test. And then, do you use, uh, like, cranberry relish? I don't, but I have the plan for it. Alright, uh, here's the gourds that you've got to have to put in there. Oh. It takes a gourd, just pick them. Uh, there's... I should add more of these to my garden, honestly. I've mostly just got razor grain, a bit of moot fruit, and uh, what was the other one? Corn, that was it. Yeah, I use uh, carrots. I've got carrots down here. And then uh, the gourds for my relish. Mm. It's a shame you can't plant cranberries. Yeah, I know. The starlight berries. And starlight berries as well. I forgot about those. But there are places uh, where you can go farm the starlight berries. Hmm, yeah, the uh, Voltec uh, farm. Which um, always starts short a, circuit. A better place is uh, start at. Uh, hang on a minute. Gotham. Uh, 
Dolly Mine exit is where I normally start. And then I'll go kind of northeast down under the train bridge and start there and make my way back around and go back south, staying on the west side of the uh, railroad tracks between it and the road. And I'll run down through there. And there's a lot of view down through there. Hmm. And uh, till you get to that, uh, there's a house with somebody that's chopping wood behind it. And you get to the other side of it, there's a road. And then I'll jump back across the road and go down that way. Hmm. Uh, but there's, there's. Have you got the map that shows all this stuff? As in, I mean, I've got a map. Yeah, it's uh, the start button one, right? Or is there a? Oh, the treasure maps. You mean? I do have some treasure maps, but probably not all of them. I don't really even know the locations, because I don't look around that much. I've got specific places to go to most of the time, like, oh, I need to find a cake pan, I've got to go over here, or I need an antique table knife. Oh, that's over there. Or the restored desk fan, that sort of thing. He could stop talking at any moment. Could take a look around while I'm here. <laughs> All these water coolers. They are nice in a way, but they're so limited. Like, what can you even use them for? Oh, I've just got a message. Is that? Let's see. Oh, map 76. A data mined map of every object, resource, vein, and deposit in Fallout 76. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's very good for the resources. I can imagine if it's data mined. You get on the uh, data miners Discord? No. I've got to get some naughty items as well, but, you know, because I've got a museum on one of my characters, but, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't use any of the stuff that's been injected into the game, I just play it straight up. Um, mm. There's a plan collector's discord, and it's, it's real handy as far as plans go. Um, I get on there and talk to those folks, and you know when they get a new plan out, we just you know talk about where to get it and how to get it. Hmm. Uh, they've also got a plan mule, so that you can get on there and check to see what plans you're missing once you get. Oh. You think you've got most of them? See which ones you're missing. Yeah, I'll have to check if I've got all the drug ones because you know. But, yeah, I'll have to look along those sorts of places. I thought I was going to fucking fall then. <laughs> They've got quite the fucking tower. Like, whoa is this big. I wish they had left me I was uh, farming ground. Yeah, I was getting mirror balls. If I got another one, I would have uh, added that to mine. But, yeah, I think... Uh... Wait, can they hear me? Can you still hear me? Yeah. yeah. Alright, yeah. Because uh, I was doing the thing for more mirror balls. But mirror balls, the metal uh, picnic tables. Yeah, I got a few uh, Chally's feed recipes as well. Yeah, those were on there fairly regular. The uh, radiation emitter was another rare one that was on there. Oh yeah. And the uh, starburst clock. Hmm. I heard that because they couldn't get the rewards right, they just replaced it with the uh, just replaced it with fucking. Stupid alien event again. Yep. Yep. That's exactly what happened. 
At least I got the disintegrator from that one, because I didn't get it the first time and I was pretty annoyed about that. Because I got the plan for the high-powered mod for it, but I didn't get the plan for it itself. Oh yeah, that, yeah, it's, it's crazy the way the game will give you the mods first and then you get the weapon. Yeah. I've got to look around at the bottom here. Oh, there's some way to level up right there. Radiation rumble, you ever do it? I do it occasionally for, like, legendaries, but that's about it, really. And I've done the scoreboard anyway. Hmm? Yeah, I'm still leveling here and there, but... It's not too big a, uh, priority, honestly. That is a good tower, though, honestly. It's a lot better than the uh, one from the Atom Shop. That's what made me build it. I bought that one out of the Atom Shop, and I was completely disappointed with it. Yeah, it, and I thought, it's I annoying how it. the Atom Shop is just an absolutely disappointing thing. Like, I took a look at that, a, uh, that plane, and I was like, whoa, that's a cool idea. Just having, like, a fucking crashed plane is your place. Then I look at it, it's just a fucking box inside. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the shelters... Here, let's go in this shelter here. I'll show you something. Oh. Oh, this is adding on to my thing. And that they give you free. But you can put the entrance for the others inside this one. So if you look right here, Against the wall, it says Aban Abandoned Mine Shelter Entrance. Let's go in here. Okay. Yeah, I know about this already. You can... This one, I like the best of all of them, because it is huge. Yeah, I was considering uh, getting either this one or the Forbidden one, just so I could... Uh, what's the right. word? Come on down this way. Because I found a house I could potentially put one of these onto. And I was like, oh, I could use this for an interior, but then there's the big metal things all in the way. No, no. That big metal thing, you use that little uh, hatch. That uh, piece of wood, basically. Yeah, you use that on the outside, but then when you get to the inside, you can't really fake the walls of what would be inside said house. Um, well, I mean, look at what I put all in this one. I've got two of these towers in here, and then, of course, I could I could stick a lot more in here. I've still got a bunch of budget. I just haven't worked on it. Oh, and my museum. It's got so little budget because I like putting words on things. So, you know, I actually talk about everything in there. Or at least I'm planning to, but, again, it just annihilates the budget. Yeah, that's all the different tubes. Yeah, tubes. And then my, this is my nuclear waste storage. <laughs> I've got my nuclear waste right next to the brewing station. <laughs> For good reason. But this is, this one here also has water. So you can come in here and get uh, dirty water right here. Yeah, I saw somebody put a, like, flamingo farm in one of these. Just like, oh, oh look, yeah. there's all flamingos. And uh, you can make your boiled water in here, mm. which is kind of handy. I wish they would let us put crops in here. And I know there's a timer, and they say they can't uh, let them grow, but you could take and throw turbo farts on them. Hmm, that is true. I mean, it's also annoying that uh, whenever you take water out, you always manage to splash it all over yourself and then swig it around your mouth before you put it in the carton. I haven't been playing much lately. I've been kind of waiting on the PTS. I managed to get on there and play it for about two hours mm. before they took it back down. I don't know what the bug was that they found. Evidently, somebody found one that was uh, either a big exploit or, you know, would crash the server. Mm. So that's why they took it down, I would say. But it, it's, 
it's not too bad. They got some work to do. Yeah. Some of the some of the NPCs had uh, placeholder uh, voices, which were robot voices that they still got to do their voiceover actors got to do their thing. Wow! So it was just uh, text to speech. That's yeah, interesting that, to hear about. That's that's that that was you know first one I heard I thought well that's kind of a strange voice, and then the next time. Uh, you choose another line to ask him something else, he has an actual voice actor. You know, and I thought, well, okay, wonder what that's about. And then I read the patch notes, and they said that they had that as placeholder in there, temporary. Hmm. Um, the cooking, they've got a little uh, cooking thing that's uh, kind of messed up. I put them up. It didn't work right. Oh, so a new type of cooking station. Well, no, it's, um, do you want spoilers or not? Eh, I might as well. If it's just cooking, like, different recipes, well, or... Well, no, this is actually, uh, how you get, uh, power for your vertebrate to go to the pit. It's Ooh. one of the missions. So you'll have three daily missions that you have to do each one of them to get a battery percentage of battery charge and then once you get it to a hundred then you go turn it into another NPC and you get to fly the vertebrate or they fly you in it up there and they've got uh, some of the stuff is confusing like in the vertebrate when you're in it in the trip you're standing up in a like a rack like thing holding on to these handles and you can't move around the cab. Well, it says to uh, activate the intercom to land. I like to never found the intercom. Wow. It's up, it's up on the ceiling. You have to look up and to the right. And Suck there's a enough. really small uh, area that you have to be pointed right at in order to get to see the button to push. That's a shame. I mean... I was thinking they do like the uh, Fallout 4 thing again, where you're able to hold on to a verti you know, a uh, minigun with infinite yeah. ammo. That'd be fun, just going around like, you know, flying by like some place in Nevada or something, and just shooting and shit down there, or being no, like, there's... I want to stop right no. here, and that no sort comment. of thing. There's there's no kind of interaction at all. It's basically a a loading screen. Yeah. You're inside the vertebrate, and that's your loading screen. That's a shame. But now they did change uh, the white springs to where you can fast travel to inside the white spring, and it it spawns you just inside the doors. So Ooh. you miss that loading screen. That's good. Yeah, that is good. But then you have another loading screen to go to the vendors. When you go downstairs to those vendors, oh, that's uh, a they have a door you have to go through. They they split it so that uh, there's not as much load on the player's system. Okay. Basically. And I think it's a good idea. Some people don't like it, but they just don't realize that it's take load off your system. Hmm. And upstairs, they opened up a little bit. They've got some of the new, well, all the new NPCs are up there that you interact with. Is this the uh, boy? Is this the uh, bunker part, or is it the actual White Spring itself, the resort? No, oh, it's it's in the in the resort. When you spawn in, you know you've got the robot standing there beside you, and you go down the stairs to the vendors, and then there's the upstairs where there was a few vendors. Ah, like uh, yes, vendor bubbles area. and that sort of thing bubbles okay well, they've added bubbles is still there and then there's another guy in that same little kiosk oh Giuseppe and he's the guy that uh, you turn your stamps in with so when you go looking for him that's where he's at okay. and then there's uh, the three dailies that you've got to do to get your battery charge are actually up there go to talk to the NPCs which are responders and uh Basically, they give you. It's still a work in progress on one of them. So, do you have any insight on any of the pit itself? Any of the locations? 
Um, I did it solo, and I didn't have a problem. There was some people was talking about uh, how they died eight or ten times. The thing is, I did it solo on my other character, which is a sneak build. Mm. So I could sneak around and shoot these dudes one at a time. I threw a nuke grenade just to see what would happen if I drew, drew aggro. Like the guy over went. Uh, evidently, if they can see you, they all come from everywhere. So they all surround you. Yes. Yes. Fucking hell. hell. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I'd already cleared most of them out when I threw the grenade, and uh, I think I had four of them that just come out of nowhere. And of course, I use vampires too, and I've got a high health build, so I stay. Mm. But uh, I managed to do the whole thing except for the very end. Uh, you get well yeah, this is a spoiler I'm not going to tell you it was hard at the very end I didn't die or anything but I didn't complete the mission like they wanted uh, annoying timer eh um, well no there's no timer but it was um, there's certain people that you're supposed to keep alive oh an escort so mission so many enemies coming in just wasn't going to happen that sounds like a big fucking pain. Because yep. it's annoying just to kill things in general. It's right. even worse when there's people walking through going, Hello! Oh, is this what a truck is called? Yeah, yeah and, they're, and they're in the way and you're trying to kill the thing that's trying to kill them and, you know, it, it just it was a mess. Mm. Uh, of course, I wasn't expecting it either. It was my only playthrough, so I'd never done it before. And then I figured out that, oh, these guys, by the time I even got there, there was one of them already dead. Wow. And I think there's four that you got to keep alive. So it was already a lost battle by the time I got there. Yeah, they should do a lot better to just explain these things and give you some time, some breathing room to look around and, you know, um, well, before and it just... After you get that done, you can take your time and explore the whole area. And there's all sorts of stuff to pick up. Ooh. And there's workbenches where you can break them down. Now, here's something that's going to be bad. Um, the person that starts the mission. So, say they form a team. And they've got mm -hmm. the battery and they pay for the vertebrae. Alright, the other three players on the team have no control over how long they stay or if they stay. That guy that did the batteries kick him out at any point uh, when he goes into uh, this certain area where the main part of the mission is it drags everybody in there with him wow. so if you're off doing something else it'll just pop you in there with him and he leaves that area it pops you out if he gets on the vertebrae even though you're out exploring somewhere it puts you on the vertebrae too so whoever has the batteries has got all the control over it now, I'm thinking that if he crashes, it's going to crash the whole team out. So that's going to be bad. Although it's not really cost you anything but time. Mm. Maybe some ammo. The ammo seemed to drop pretty good. I was using fixers on that gun, on that uh, character, and uh, I was getting quite a bit of ammo, actually. That's good, because, you know, my main character uses a lever action, and... Most fights I get into, I usually lose ammo. Unless I'm using the Gatling gun. Uh, this one here, I use a golf shotgun, and I usually end up with making ammo every day. Because it doesn't take much to kill stuff with. Hmm. Let's see, what else can I talk about? I do like the design you did though, where you go around the whole, like, you use verticality a lot, so it feels like you're going through even more area, whereas the original is just very small. Yeah. Well, this is a huge space. I've mm. got another one uh, on my other character, where when you come in, it looks like just an open space, but if you look up, it has a floor up on the ceiling and uh, there's stairs over to the side and you climb up the stairs to get up there. 
so it's kind of uh, just different. I haven't really done anything. I've just built the structure, and that's as far as I went. If they would let us grow crops in here, I would probably move most everything in. Yeah. I mean, that's how these are sort of like, isn't it? Like, especially with the vault stuff. Like, it's wanting you to pretty much stick them all together like a actual vault. But then it doesn't yeah. have any crops. Yeah, the crops in the water are the only two things. Of course, this one has water in it. Hmm. And I don't understand why they don't all have some source of dirty water in them. This one's the only one, as far as I know, where you can actually collect it and boil it. It's Which strange. is real handy. Mm. No. But uh, I don't know. They they need to fix it to where we can have water and crops in here. And then uh, most people, all you'd see is their hatch and uh, their little camp fixture. Yeah. Because you can put vendors in these now. Yeah. I mean, I kind of like the chaos of having everything on the surface. Even if it is just, oh, there's random assholes spawning inside the Pulowski shelter I put the camp in. I really ought to find the flamethrower plan and then just, you know, use that. Specifically pointed at that shelter so it, you know, whenever they spawn in they just instantly oh, yeah. die. Oh yeah, you can set it, set it up like that. Uh, you know, everything, when you spawn into somebody's camp, it's on the north side, hmm. a little bit to the east of north. And then you can set all your um, turrets up. I haven't had a problem with that camp, that tower. I've got uh, my turrets set pretty good to where uh, they take care of anything that comes in. I get some of that stuff up off the white springs occasionally, ghouls and super mutants and dogs. Hmm. Yeah, it's strange how the White Springs somewhat polices itself, but it also doesn't. Like, a lot of the time, most of the things that show up in my camp are from down the road that have killed the Assault Trons and all the other stuff. And then there's just me, like, level 12, just shooting at them with a little crappy revolver, doing like 5 damage per shot. <laughs> oh, it was a pain. Yeah, if you get a chance, and you've got the atoms, those uh, enclave turrets. Yeah, I've already... And let, and let, yeah, I know them. they're a... Uh, what's the word? They're a straight upgrade. Yes, definitely. I wish we could have an Assaultron at the camp. And then it could just run around and shoot stuff for you. Yeah, I wish we could have a uh, mounted turret as well. One that we could, you know, actually use. So we don't have to oh, waste yeah. ammunition on anything. Right. That'd be so cool, thinking about it. Just a guard post. One of those guard towers, but with one of those stuck on the end of it. Yep. And let the NPC, you know, like your ally, use it too. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the ideas I had back in... Back before Sam Nugan was just this character that actually was capable of killing things, but was only really there on the job, so they weren't really talkative. And their camp item would have been a guard post. Oh, if only I had Crowley's mining light. I'd be able to, you know, cast all the light over there, and it's really cool just having a flashlight, honestly. You've got one. Yeah, but that one's not as good as the, you know, the one trained where you're looking. Right. Um, I don't know if I've got any mining lights or not. Let me look. Yeah, mining lights... It's a shame you can't put them on other pieces of clothing, like this one. Like, I'd be wearing one if it fit with the wrapped cap and other stuff, but it just doesn't. Like, if you were just able to add a mining light to anything, any, like, piece of apparel or headgear, that'd be so cool. Yep. Okay, here's the 
I mean, I know where to get mining lights, it's just, again, it'd clash with the character and outfit. Um, the only other one is that, uh, reclaimed deep mining mask. Yeah, I've got that one as well. None of them fit with a business suit, though. Right. Or antlers, or that sort of thing. You got the the gas mask that has the antlers on it. That was uh, let's see what was that in? Oh, the cultist one. I do have that, but the regular gas mask works with this anyway. I don't have it on me, but it's there. Yeah, I like this uh, this Raiders. This is an Adam Store uh, helmet, and then of course the paramedic is a responder unit. Hmm. Those are kind of rare. Yeah, but I heard the, uh, what was it? It wasn't the fire breathers one, but there was another one. There was like a responder's specific, uh, firefighter uniform that wasn't the res that wasn't the fire breathers one. That oh, was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was very, is. very expensive, apparently. Yeah, the responder fire uniform, I've got it, but I don't have the, uh, helmet. The white hat, yeah. I mean, I was planning on having the uh, reclaimed uh, mining hat with the responder's uniform, yep. but this it just doesn't the, fit because it leaves a big old the, uh, gap at the neck. Responder's fire uniform. Hmm. Personally, I like the uh, paramedic one a little bit better. I guess if I had the uh, the helmet to go with it. It's just a, an extremely rare drop. Mm. I mean, personally, I do prefer the original fireman uniform. The nice yellow one, but yeah. Must have been a fairly large bug. They still haven't got the uh, PTS up. Wow. I mean, I guess that's what happens when they use the same engine as they did back in Morrowind. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> the the test server is like that for a reason. I mean, you know, they'll put a, a build out, let us go in there and test it, and then we figure out what's broke. We tell them and then they take it back down and they fix it and then they put it back on and that's, you know, so that when it actually hits live, it's in a halfway decent shape if they mm. fixed everything that we find. And it depends on how many people actually play the test server. Um, I've played other games and used their test servers. We found a bug one time that a mission was broke. If you got in there and did a certain thing, it would crash the entire server. Fucking hell. Yeah, that was that was a good one. I found one that uh, if you did a certain thing in a vendor, it would make you crash every time. Every time you did it, you go to the vendor and do that, and it would crash. They actually fixed that before it hit live. But that game there, uh, the devs would get in the test server, and they had a world chat where you could type in, type in that, hey, I found something dev would actually come and see what you were doing you know and what was going on and then they would uh, basically record it in the office and they would so it was a public text chat in the actual server or was it a no. uh, specific in that game no it was in the game they oh. had game chat in that one it was a different game than this one hmm The in-game chat like that, a lot of times, uh, causes strife, I guess, you know, unnecessary 
people getting on there and spamming stuff and spamming yeah. links for uh, actual spam, you know, trying to steal identities and whatnot. So, yeah, it, it causes a lot of issues sometimes. Yeah, text chat in this game has been uh, requested quite a bit. And I, I'm saying that's why they haven't got it, is they've, from past experience with other games, they've decided against having it. Uh, of course, I use Discord a lot of times. My friends and I will get on another Discord channel, and I've got voice channels on it. And then uh, I can stream my game in there if I want to. Uh, mm. But the in-game chat, voice chat's not too bad, but a lot of people don't have microphones. Yeah, it's or, a shame that they don't. Yeah. Well, some of them can't speak English. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, and a lot of them that think they can't speak English, actually, I can understand fine. There was uh, some Germans that talking to one. At first, they didn't want to talk, and I'm like, well, you know, come on, because I, I needed to try and figure out what they wanted, you know, and I was trying to work it out and deal with them. Mm. And uh, the guy was German, but I could understand him really well so and I told him he could speak English real well so maybe he was just embarrassed about his pronunciation or something yeah whereas I had to strike up a conversation with a Russian guy trying to because I did tell him a joke in English compared yeah. well based on what he was wearing he was wearing a toothy mask and I was like oh, you know we British are said to have really bad teeth, but yours puts us to shame. Because <laughs> he was wearing the Fasnak Toothy Man mask, and he had no fucking clue what I was saying. So I translated it quickly in Google Translate, trying to save face, and... Because I was speaking so slowly, he still couldn't understand me. But he evidently saw the gesture. Ah, it's a shame, I've still got to learn that language, I've still got to learn Spanish and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, it's just another moment of silence. I do have some space, technically. No, it's not enough. Ah, well. I'll drink me bourbon and do the other stuff soon. Well, I am going to head out. And I do need to uh, plant these gourds before they go off, so uh, yeah, it's been nice seeing you. Yep. Well, you have a good one. You too. Let's see if I can find the uh, exit of the place. I have to go all the way around and down again. That took a while. Fucking hell. Let's see if I can go to the other place he was at. No, he doesn't have the uh, vault door thing there. I'll see if I can get in there before, you know, he logs off or whatever. Have a look around that little area. We're here. Can we turn around? And we're gone. And we're gone. <laughs> right. <coughs> so that's where he was. Okay. Now then, I'd prefer to just drink something and fucking get out of here. I don't want to drink the lager. I do want to drink you. Put you down. And get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah, we've got to... Uh, <laughs> got a fucking Al's toy barn. I feel like that fucking painting unstable. <laughs> well, it's a picture, but you know what I mean. I left the fucking thing open again. Anyway, I've got to, uh... plant this fucking thing. At least one of them, you know? I do have the fertilizer, but do I have the ground space for it? Probably not. That's pretty fucking bad. Oh boy. 
That's exactly how you fucking do these. You just. Alright, what can I get rid of one of? I suppose one corn wouldn't be too bad. I can plant that fucking thing. Is it embedded in the ground a bit, maybe? I don't know. That's pretty nice. Though it's evidently, you know, on the fucking path. Come on. Oh, there was just a fucking moment there. Again. Must be. This is directly on terrain. So when it's, you know, with one of these, how does it fucking look? Hmm? I'm throwing grenades at my own place. Alright, so that doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks pretty fucking bad, but, you know, you know what I mean. Preferably I should put it where this fucker is right now. Put you over there for now. Put you... Careful. This is on terrain. The problem is it's fucking curved. Ugh, right. I ought to fucking hide the rest of this mirror model, but you know. It is This particular fucking direction as well. There we go. Good. We did it. We fucking did it. Alright, I think that placement actually fucking works. Yeah. It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Still have this fucking thing here. Because, of course. But yeah. That should be it for now. See ya. To uh, take a look at the good stuff, the one we got already, the uh, raid loaders. Eh, it fits. I think. Yeah, it's. It does its job, definitely. Uh, you can just see my mishmash of armor. But yeah, I think that's a bit better. I need to get something to actually cover the chest. Like, you know, a metal chest piece or that sort of thing, but yeah. It really adds to the uh, ramshackle nature of his armor. Which is good. I don't get why it juts out so much, that shoulder piece right there. But yeah, that should be it for now. See ya.